Hey all, today we are going to work through how to factor a polynomial from the simplified form to the factored form. So today what we're going to be working with is going to be x squared minus 7x plus 12. And this is just a, a simple um, trinomial and a trinomial is also a polynomial. And with this polynomial, what we want to do is we want to take it from the simplified form, which is this form right here, and we want to take it to the factored form, which is going to be um, down here for step six. And we're going to accomplish this in six simple steps. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the simple stuff, and the simple stuff is going to be A, write down the problem. So we write down the problem, and we write down the 12, um, the x squared minus 7x plus 12. Step number one is going to be to do the simple stuff again and open up some parentheses. So we want, know we want to get this in factored form, and all factored form means is that we want two terms multiplying, um, two terms multiplying. And so this is going to be our first factor right here, and this is going to be our second factor. And that's step one, is just open up your parentheses, um, two sets of parentheses. Your step two is we're going to take this x and we're going to break it up. x squared just means x times x, and we're going to take one x and we're going to put it right here. And we're going to take another x and we're going to put it right here inside of our parentheses. Second thing what we're going to do for step three is we're going to take this 12 and we're going to find the factors of 12. So the factors of 12 is 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. Once we answer the fact the factors, the factors are, are, we're going to go to, go to step, step 4. And now what we need to do is we need to figure out which of these factors will add, or add up or subtract to give us a negative 7. So for 1 and 12, if we add them together, it'll give us 13. We subtract them, it'll give us 11. So those factors won't work. 2 and 6, if we add those together, it'll give us 8. And subtract those two numbers, and it'll give us 4. So we know that's not going to work. If we add these two numbers together, then we're going to get 7. So now we know we have the 7, So and that's what we're looking for is a 7. However, the 7 is a negative, so we're going to take care of that negative in a little bit. But we do know if we add these two numbers together, it's going to give us this number right here. So that's step 3, is to find the two factors that you can add together, and it's going to give you a middle number. Step 4, you're going to take one factor, and you're going to put it on the right side of the first parenthesis. You're going to take the second factor, and you're going to put it to the right side of the second parenthesis. Step five, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the coefficients of the inside terms, which is going to be the three times one is going to give us a three. Then we're going to multiply the coefficients of the outside terms, and we're going to take the four, and we're going to multiply it by the one. It's going to give us four. Now th these two numbers need to we have to add them or subtract them in order to give us a negative 7. And so it's subtracting since it's a negative it needs to be a negative 3 and a negative 4. And once we identify that then we're going to rewrite the problem and we're going to take our negative 3 and we'll put it right here and we'll take our negative 4 and we'll put it right here. And with that done, this tells us that our factor form of that polynomial is going to be x minus 3 times x minus 4. Hopefully everybody gets um, understands factoring polynomials a little bit better, and have a great day.